Aloha, and welcome to part 6 of Mega Man X5. I'm still playing around with the Falcon Armor here in Dark Dizzy stage. The Falcon Armor is great for maneuverability, but it's not very great for uh, attacking things. The X Buster is actually weaker in the Falcon Armor. It doesn't shoot a gigantic shot, it just shoots a gigantic... or a small laser, rather. <laughs> but it can fly! And flying can also attack enemies and protect you from certain shots, so it, uh, the flying is awesome. And you can fly for quite the distance, I must say. And now that I'm six parts into this LP, I think I should mention why I chose Mega Man X in the beginning of the game, at long last. Uh, basically, if you choose to play the first level with X, you unlock the X4 armor, or the fourth armor as it's called, and you keep that for the whole game. And that's awesome because it's the only armor Mega Man X has that charges up special weapons. Unarmored X doesn't do it, Falcon armor doesn't do it, and the Gaia armor, which I'm going to be picking up later, doesn't do it either. When you reach this uh, two blocks with the Sigma head, turn back into the teleporter so you can get to the piece of heart right here. And uh, since, since there are spikes at the top, try and get hit so that you'll be invulnerable for a short period of time. Because spikes are one-hit kills and never fun. But yeah, I chose to play as X for the fourth armor. If you play as Zero, Zero gets the ability to use his Zero Buster, which is uh, kind of useless in my opinion. Uh, the Zero Buster doesn't help Zero that much. It's pretty not worth it. And this Dr. Light capsule is really annoying to get. You have to use the weapon you got from Izzy Glow, the remote-controlled Firefly missile weapon. The problem is, it's huge, the hallways you're driving through are thin, the slightest bump into a wall kills the missile immediately, and yeesh, it just takes forever. I mean, it didn't take that long, so I figured I'd keep all this footage in, but uh, this is just to give you an idea how much time it takes to uh, shoot it in. Believe me, I'm not usually that lucky. I, <laughs> I got it in rather quick. And now we got the first part of the Gaia armor. The Gaia armor is a heavy, bulky armor for X that we'll be talking about later as we get more parts. But, uh, yeah, there are eight Dr. Light capsules in this game. So how about that? <laughs> We're at Dark Dizzy. Squeak! I've been waiting for you! Hey, can't you understand the urgency of our present situation? There's no time to fight! Squeak! Who cares? I don't take orders from anyone! The word Sigma means nothing to me! I'll destroy all Mavericks like you! Squeak! I'm always ready! <laughs> Dirk Dizzy is weak against Izzy Glow's weapon, but uh... It doesn't do that much damage to him, and it's also a very slow weapon. Which is, which is fine, though, because Dark Dizzy is one of the easiest Mavericks in the game. He spends a lot of time just hovering there, doing nothing. Um, if you had the fourth armor, you could charge Izzy Glow's weapon into a laser, and the laser does such a quicker job of taking out Dark Dizzy that, uh, really, I should have chose the fourth armor in the first place. I was just in a hurry to show off the Falcon armor the minute I got it. I don't know. I'm like a giddy schoolgirl. I'm like, oh my god, I got the Falcon armor! I have to show it off! Dirk Dizzy's, uh, his way of attacking and the way he flies around and stuff, he reminds me way too much of Shade Man from Mega Man 7. Uh, I don't think he grabs you and picks you up and steals your lifeblood from you, but, uh, you know, he loves to fly around the corners, go down every now and then, fly back up. He loves sending out miniature bats, and he also has the Echo-ish special abilities, just like Shade Man had his Echo abilities. So, you know. Oh, he can, oh, and he can stop time. <laughs> Never fun, but he, he rarely does it, believe me. Dark Dizzy shouldn't give you a run for your money. And that's about it. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, by defeating Dark Dizzy, both Mega Man X and Zero get the exact same ability. Go, go figure. Crazy uh, concept. They get the Dark Hold. 
Darkhold is like Flash Stopper of Mega Man 2. It stops time and stops the enemies from moving and all that jazz that uh, is swell. I believe uh, Bright Man from Mega Man 4 also had one of the similar abilities. At least it does the same thing to Pharaoh Man that Dark Dizzy does to our upcoming Maverick, the, the, the Skyver. Time for some plot! I've been fighting the Sigma virus for a long time. It is the virus that causes all Reploids to transform into Mavericks. The most dreadful virus to ever exist. Why? I wonder why I'm not harmed. Instead, I feel energy growing in, within my body. What on earth is happening to me? I have a bad feeling about this. That's all of the report on Zero. Zero has fought Sigma several times. I believe he has the virus antibodies. It's possible. He doesn't react negatively to the virus. His power output is actually growing. For the most part, the body systems of X and Zero remain mysteries. I can't predict what will happen. I suggest you take measures. Keep this secret. I'll think it over. His power is growing with the virus. It's too dangerous to keep them loose. Please, at least do something about Zero before it's too late. So yeah, they're commenting that Zero gets stronger when he touches the Sigma virus, as I mentioned in an earlier part. So, uh... That can't be good. <laughs> this is the Skyver. If you noticed on his forehead, it's an R symbol. The R symbol being of the Repliforce. Repliforce were the enemy army we battled in Mega Man X4, in which Iris, Colonel, General, all those crew belong to. Uh, the Skyver has a part we need, and unfortunately, <laughs> all of the Repliforce goons have become Mavericks thanks to the Sigma virus. That's a shame. Anyway, the Skyver was named after Guns N' Roses collaborator Michael High in the Sky. Monroe. I guess. <laughs> that seems like a big stretch for a name, Capcom. His nickname's High in the Sky. How about Skyver? Ha <laughs> ha, we're geniuses. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Nevertheless, all the enemies in this place are Mega Man X4 enemies, which, uh, the big pudgy guys who throw grenades, this big tank with missiles. Actually, now that I think about it, that's it. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, there are bombs constantly throughout the level that you have to destroy. Uh, only to protect yourself, really. It doesn't really impact anything else. Even the Reploids that you have to save on screen don't even get damage from the bombs going off. But, you know. It's a good gesture. You lose about a quarter health if you get hit by the bomb, so it's a good idea to take it out as quickly as you can. Sometimes they're up, above, up on a ledge that you can't reach, and, uh, yeah. The thing I just picked up in between the two mechs was the weapon tank. You keep collecting weapon energy, it will fill the weapon tank, and every time you run, it, you run out of energy, uh, just use the weapon tank to uh, refill your weapon energy. But it doesn't really matter since every time you die it gets refilled anyway, but uh, you know. The body parts of the guy armor. With the body part equipped, the damage you receive will become less. So, Dr. Light built X, and he just, like, spent years building all these different armors after he made X. <laughs> Jeez, Light, you need to get out more. You had to, like, play fetch with Rush or something. Jesus, Dr. Light. But I digress. <laughs> the Sigma Virus uh, head here always gets caught on the elevator. I don't know why. It's more funny than anything. Stop talking to me, Alia. Here are a lot of Reploids, a bomb, and more Sigma Virus. Uh, again, X gets damage from the Sigma Virus. Zero does not. Zero actually gets invulnerable for a short period of time until the virus effects wear off. It's always good to run into the virus when you're, sig when you're a Zero. It's funny, when, uh, my first time playing as Zero, I expected it would hurt me, so I ran away from it on purpose. It wasn't until later I found out that, hey, this virus healed me and made me invincible. What the fuck? It doesn't even, like, affect the ending at all or anything. Like, you'd think giving into the Sigma virus would, I don't know, make the bad ending happen automatically or something, but no, it, it doesn't. 
but I'll see you in part 7.